once the user log into our application how we will maintain the session according to the application need or the requirement we will see that but after the intro hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun of heuristics so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing if you haven't yet so managing the session of the user is the most important thing for the user point of view like like i logged in i know i don't want to re-login re again and again for every every transaction i am doing so as angular react view any client set application we are just talking we means the application is just talking through a rest api so you need to pass the user data every time to the server for the authentication and authorization purpose so you need to manage the session of the user so that user will be stay active according to application suppose you want the user should be logged out when you close the browser or when you close the tab or you want the user to be stay active when you press log out and this can be achieved pretty easily by the help of the browsers itself so what uh, when the user is logged in we can store or logged in or anything anything you want to store uh, you, you want to manage the session or for a user or for any purpose you can use these things you already knows that from the title it is session storage and local storage i will going to explain what to use when the first scenario will be like i told if you want the user to be uh, logged out when you close the tab or the browser etc so you want the user to be stay active on the refresh but you don't want the user to be stay active on the next tab or the close of the tab so in that case the session storage will be useful just go session storage dot set item like it's a key value pair but it accept key as suppose i will set as a user some value and by the way the code you are seeing here it's from a previous video that that is about how to send a mail from node.js by using node mailer i will link that video here you can go and watch if you want to and for a short description here i'm sending send mail on the success response so i suppose i will write user object and in that user name i will store as a user dot name and as I'm not, I'm getting only username and the receive message ID. So I will store that. But in the re real scenario, it can be like you are getting some authorization token or you are getting some uh, uh, username, email ID, some session or some user object which has some data. You need to pass it to the server back again. You can store that. So here the trick is you can't give like this. So what the problem here is session storage or local storage they can only store a string value so we have we know as this is a json we can stringify them so we have a method so json dot stringify and we just pass that value here and it will store the data okay i am storing string here and while accessing the data pass it back to the object and access it it's that simple so here so now i will hit submit just check an eye on now no no session storage are there okay so by, by, by the way you can find session storage under application local storage session storage cookies everything will be there i will hit submit here so what i am doing here i am sending a mail to this email id with for a registration and okay by the way it's came and on the response you saw we we got the username and message id as a re response from the server so it's just a mimic of the data what we are getting so you can store anything according to the requirement of the application now i'll show you how to grab that one okay so we'll go to the on init okay now what i will do i will just console dot log and you can write like you set in the session storage you can get from the session storage also get item you can just pass the user 
you can check here we got the object back but 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 it's in a string format so if I go to here what's there in username so username that's throwing me error because it's not a JSON it's a string value so for that reason what you can do just write JSON dot parse and parse the JSON and access the value so now if I go to the browser I will see I will get the value here like Subrat so and that what I set when I got the message back but I will show you now suppose this is a tab I will try to open a new tab here that is localhost 4200 and I will open this one now you can see it cannot read the property username of null that means it is not accessible to the next tab but if I go to the previous tab and just hit refresh you will see that we still have the value so I am showing this because to demonstrate your session storage is only active it's for a single tab if you close the tab the session is gone it is it will drain out you can go here to the application and you can check the session storage nothing is there now we'll come to the second scenario the second scenario will be suppose the user is logged in and you don't want user to be logged out means you don't want the user to be logged out automatically so like Facebook once you logged in by entering your username and password you, it's not asking you all the time okay and Amazon and a lot of the websites are there so they are handling it way in a different way but this also you can use to maintain the session also the local storage will be active till the user manually cleared the local storage or browser data or something the local storage that set item I will just use the same everything here so now if you go to the browser so I will expand the session storage and local storage both now you can check everything is empty so I will give here some and when I hit submit just keep an eye on the local storage okay it's get added and it will it will also get added in the local storage also you can check here now how you gonna access the local storage so as we saw we got some error previously due to local storage okay sorry session storage as you change that local storage now we'll go to the browser and we'll check we are getting subrat okay you may say okay this is, the, this is the same browser okay i will just open a new tab here and i will try to log into localhost and you see it's coming again okay so it doesn't depend I can open a new browser window next it will be stay active in the browser not in the incognito but in the normal browser session it will be stay active it will go when you go and just clear it it will go now if I hit refresh you will see that we will get error and by the way now here as I clear in the previous tab you can check here in this browser also you will get in this tab also will will get an error because it's the same is gone now so that's what the local storage and the session storage is so that's it for today today we saw how you're gonna maintain a session for a user in the client application so that you will do some operation for some authorization authentication or according to your application need if you like the video and you want to support me then you can support me on the patreon i will give the link in the description below if you can go and check once and you can also join a free slack channel that, that, that i will link in the description as well and please hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the bell icon share this video among your friends family whoever, whoever want to learn the code whoever is doing something in the company or your friend anywhere and we will going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye